Bloomborough has been hot, and the set is causing several cards to spike this week. Stay tuned to find out which ones are on the move. This video is sponsored by Flipside Gaming. Check out FlipsideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Right now you can pre-order Dustmorn House of Horror, or find a vast number of other great products on their website. Remember, shipping is free in the U.S. if your order is over $100 or consists only of singles. Just look in the description or comment section below for direct links to their site. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Match of the Gathering Market Watch. Bloomborough has caused big waves in the secondary market, so today we're going to look at the top 15 hottest cards, not just the top 10 like we normally do. And in today's video, we're not going to discuss cards from Bloomborough products in particular. I have a special episode of the Market Watch coming out tomorrow where we examine those, and you're not going to want to miss that one. As for today, though, our hot list is based on two things, the percentage increase in the value of the cards, but we also want to see a true increase in the number of sales from week to week as well. Quickly before we get into it, though, I do want to say thank you to one of our YouTube Hero and Legend here channel members, and that is Obscure Gaming. Obscure Gaming, thank you for your support. Being a channel member means the world, really helps us a ton. Can't thank you enough for that support. I truly couldn't do it without viewers like yourself. And now, without any further ado, let's get into it. Coming in at number 15 is Monstrous Rage. It goes up $231 to $5. It's an 86% increase. This one cost uncommon combat trick has been seeing play in multiple formats. Recently, it saw some increased commander play and builds around this card here. Alexios Demos of Cosmos from Assassin's Creed. But commander really isn't the key driver for Monstrous Rage. So where else do we see this card used? Well, in modern, it's in Grill Prowess, but Pioneer and Standard are the formats moving it the most. It's all over Pioneer. You see this in builds like Gruel Aggro, Mono Red Aggro, Boros Aggro, Boros Heroic, and Mono Red Burn. That Gruel Aggro deck, however, is one of the big reasons this card is spiking. The deck uses four copies of this, and now the builds are getting pushed by a new Bloomborough card. They're running four copies of this here from the new set, Heartfire Hero. Monstrous Rage is also seeing a good amount of standard play in the new meta where it's in builds with several Bloomborough cards. The most popular decks running it there are Gruel Prowess, Mono Red Aggro, Boros Mice, Is It Prowess, and Jund Prowess. Overall, like I said, Pioneer and Standard are the key drivers, but in particular, the builds moving this the most are Pioneer Gruel Aggro and Standard Gruel Prowess. Number 14 is Altair Ibn La Ahad, up 235 to 1313. That's a 22% increase. This new card from Assassin's Creed has quickly become a popular commander, and it's in the 99 of a very highly played deck around another card from the set. That is Ezio Auditori da Firenze. Number 13, Parallax Tide from Nemesis, up 242 to 763. That's a 46% increase. This is the only tournament legal printing of the card, and it is a little dry online this week. It does see a little commander play. Sometimes it's in builds like Memnarch or Brago King Eternal, for example. But the format making a jump right now is actually pre-modern. There's a Parallax Replenish deck that has been performing well in the format, and it runs three or four copies of this. That extra demand on an already scarce card has led to this price bump. Coming in at number 12 for the second week in a row is Experimental Confectioner, up 320 to 1042. That is a 44% increase. This is one of the wilds of all drain jumpstart cards that could be found in set boosters. It has been seeing a good amount of commander play in various builds. The most popular one was around Chatterfang Squirrel General, which was just reprinted in the Bloomborough Squirrel Away Commander deck. I'm also seeing some players adding Experimental Confectioner to Squirrel Away as an upgrade, while others are putting it in fresh builds around the front facing commander from there, Hazel of the Root Bloom. But the reason we're seeing the card jumping so aggressively is because it's getting much more commander play and builds around two different cards from the Bloomborough main set. They are Igra, Eater of All, and to a lesser degree, Camellia the Seed Miser. Number 11 is the Indomitable, up 484 to 1070, that's an 83% increase. This is from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan Ahoy Mates Commander deck, and it was number 13 on the hot list last week. It has been getting a fair amount of commander play, but it's seeing a lot more now thanks to a card from Assassin's Creed, and that is why it's moving up. The card I'm referring to is Edward Kenway. Alright, before we jump into the top 10, just one quick reminder, this video is sponsored by Flipside Gaming. Check out FlipsideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Right now, you can pre-order Dustmorn House of Horror products or pick up any number of other great things they have there, MTG-related or otherwise. 
Remember, if your order is over $100 or it consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. And if you're looking for a direct link to their site, just check out the description or the comment section below. I do have links posted in both of those places. And now, without any further ado, let's get into that top 10. Coming in at number 10 for the second week in a row is On the Trail. This goes up 542 this week to 942. That is a 136% increase. This is from the Murders of Carlaw Manor Deep Clue Seat Commander deck. Many are grabbing it now to upgrade the Bloomborough Peace Offering deck, while others are using it in fresh builds around a couple cards from there. The front-facing commander, Miss Bumbleflower, as well as Mr. Foxglove. I'm also seeing on the trail in some commander decks around the Bloomborough Buy a Box promo commander card, Fluv's the Fool. So again, Bloomborough has inspired this price jump. Number 9, Aklazat's Deepest Betrayal. This goes up 592 to 1265. That's an 88% increase. This is getting a lot of play in a few different formats. In Pioneer, sometimes you see this in Demir Control or Mono Black Discard, but it gets even more play in Standard. It has appeared in a bunch of builds like Algari, Orzov, Rakdos, Abzan, and Demir Midrange, as well as Mono Black Discard. Additionally, Aklazats is a fairly popular commander, and it's in the 99 of several builds there, including a couple new ones around Bloomborough cards. Those are Zorline Cosmos Caller, and to a lesser degree, Maha, it's Feathers Knight. Number 8 is Asceticism. The Mystery Booster copy goes up 331 to 919. That is a 56% increase. The Scars of Mirrodin copy is up 388 to 79. That's a 76% increase. And the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth Commander copy, which was from the Elven Council deck, is up 617 to 1181 for a 109% increase. So this is hot now because it's getting a good amount of increased commander play thanks to, you guessed it, Bloomborough. Some are putting it in the Peace Offering deck, while others are using it in fresh builds around Miss Bumbleflower from there, but most are getting asceticism to upgrade the Animated Army deck, or put it in new builds around a couple cards from there. Bellow, Bard of the Brambles, and to a lesser degree, Wild Seer, Scouring Maw. Coming in at number 7 for a second week in a row is Thunderhawk Gunship, up 687-1685, that is a 69% increase. This is from the Warhammer 40k Forces of the Imperium Commander deck. It's moving up now due to the increased commander play it is seeing. First, it has been appearing in Edward Kenway decks, but Thunderhawk Gunship is also a good upgrade to Bloomborough's Animated Army Commander deck, and some players are putting it in their new builds around Bellow, Part of the Brambles from there too. Number 6, Raise the Palisade, up 776 to $24. That's a 48% increase. This one is from the Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth, Elven, Council, Commander deck. We are seeing the card jump up due to the increased commander play it is getting. It has been in builds around a couple cards from Assassin's Creed, Ezio, Auditori, Da Firenze, and Edward Kenway, but now Bloomborough has really made Raise the Palisade hot. You are seeing it in builds around several cards from there, including Castrol the Windcrested, Wren the Relentless, Wick the Worldmind, and Clement the Worrywart. Coming in at number 5 is Didgeridoo, up 894 to 2363. That's a 61% increase. This reserve list card from Homelands can be found in Commander Sethron Herloon General Builds, for example, but it appears that someone is specking on Minotaurs again and buying up copies of the card. The lower online inventory has led to this jump, which does happen every so often. Number 4 is Nesting Dove Hawk, up 1402 to 3399. That is a 70% increase. This is from the March of the Machine Divine Convocation Commander deck, and it was number 6 in the hot list for the last two weeks. This week it jumps up a couple spots. Many want it now to upgrade the MTG Universes Beyond TGIF Family Matters Commander deck, or to put it in fresh builds around the front facing commander from there, Zinnia Valley's Voice. Oh sorry, according to my notes, it's a Bloomborough Commander deck? That's disappointing. Anyway, to a lesser degree, I'm also seeing some putting Nesting Dove Hawk and Commander decks around a couple cards from the main set as well. Castro the Windcrested, and Balin the Haymaker. Again, we see Bloomborough push the price of another card. Number 3, Minamo School at Water's Edge from Champions of Kamigawa. This is up 1647 to 88.42 for a 23% increase. It's in a bunch of modern decks. The very popular Jeskai Control runs it, which is the main reason the card has been moving up, but it's also in more decks in that format, including Merfolk, Demir Midrange, Four Color Control, Mono Blue Tron, and Grixis Midrange. Minamo also sees a good amount of commander play in various builds. The highest played one right now is around Nadu Winged Wisdom from Modern Horizons 3, 
but there are a couple even newer builds running it too. Leonardo da Vinci from Assassin's Creed and Helga Skittish Seer from Bloomborough. Number two, Winding Canyons of 2701 to $47. That is a 135% increase. Sometimes reserve list cards have a life of their own outside of gameplay, but this one is actually seeing an increase in commander play. First, we saw some players putting this in builds around Hurragast erupting Null Kite from Modern Horizons 3. Now, though, it's getting even more play thanks to Bloomborough. It's a good upgrade to the Peace Offering Commander deck, and it's good in fresh builds around Miss Bumbleflower from there, too. The increase in play has also led to an increase in speculation, causing lower inventory in the marketplace. And finally, coming in at number one is Ash Coat of the Shadow Swarm of 3138 to 8998 for a 54% increase. This was number two last week. This week it makes the top spot. It's getting a little more play as a commander due to the rat support that came from Bloomborough, but more frequently you see this in commander rat decks. It's been in builds like Maronar and Karumonix the Rat King, but now it's in a couple commander decks around cards from the Bloomborough main set. Those are Wick the World Mind and Vren the Relentless. Additionally, there are also players putting Ash Code in builds around Hazel of the Root Bloom from the Squirreled Away commander deck. All right, just like that, that's gonna do it for our top 15 hot cards of the week. But like I said at the top of the video, we're gonna be back later in the week and we are going to look at the top 15 hottest Bloomborough cards. That includes cards not only from the main set, but also from the commander decks. And there are quite a few cards that are hot right now from this new set. Until then though, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.